as a Christian, I believe that it's one of our priorities to be of help with other people, most especially the most privileged. People that we believe that they may not be able to afford some certain things. Like in the situation we find ourselves in the country now, which the economic and the way things have gone so high that a lot of people will not be able to afford or maybe they will, are less privileged people. The finance is not there, they are not buoyant enough to be able to do those things. So I believe that the Bible said that for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. And as a Christian, one thing I believe is that we emulate the life of Christ. Emulating the life of Christ, that means we do what Christ do. We are not going to do what Christ is not going to be happy with or things that Christ is not going to be glorified for. Because in this video you are about to watch, you will see how Apostle Joshua Selma was able and the team was able to raise up some certain things for other people palliative rather for other people so that they will benefit from it and you know that in this aspect it helps you to be able to concentrate not giving palliative not giving food so that you can eat and go do other things it strengthens you so that you'll be able to do the work of he that sent you so that you'll be able to follow the gospel, listen to the gospel, have strength to be able to pray. I believe that our purpose as a channel is to help you grow spiritually. And the content we are bringing to you, they are not content to just make you feel like, okay, so this is what we saw on the social media and this is what the social man of God do. We try to bring it so that you know. No, all what we are doing is to portray the life of Christ. To make you know that Jesus loves you. So that you can see this thing and have that heart of giving to other people too. So that it will help you to be able to live a life of sacrifice for other people. Not to make other people jealous, but to help us to do that which is right. The love we are talking about is not until you withhold everything to yourself. Love is sharing and Jesus Christ came and gave his life because he loves us thank you so much please don't forget to subscribe touch the notification bell so that you can get every update what is doing and like I've always thought the church is light we are also salt we are not given the ministry of complaining and grumbling and pointing fingers one to another and um, we are not called to do everything, but we are called to do our best. And so um, we decided to set up a little palliative to um, encourage, encourage as many. Hallelujah. Now, all fingers are not equal. The church is a school, it's a training ground. And I know that with what you are hearing, by God's grace, tomorrow many of you will feed nations. But God and us have not been given the ministry of magic. It is line upon line, precept upon precept. No matter how attentive you are, you will not become in one day. It takes a while. Are we together? And so our assignment is to reveal to you the picture of your future from the word. But whilst you are evolving into that glorious destiny, it is also our mandate to communicate the ministry of mercy and midwife your growth so that you are not discouraged. And so when we do the things that we do, we do it expressing the love of Jesus. We're a very responsible ministry and um, it, it would be unfair to deafen our ears to the cries of people. We also once cried and when we did, God raised people as instruments of mercy who were there to support us so that we are not discouraged. And now that he has helped us, we must communicate the same ministry of mercy. Hallelujah. And so we decided to just do something um, to put together. We ordered some 
bags of rice. And um, I, by the way, I want to thank all who are part of the committee that set this up, you know, getting the bags of rice, um, um, you know, lots of bags of rice, it's not less than 120 or so. And those who now had to repackage it all through yesterday night, even into this morning, there's been people working tirelessly to put it together. And I want to say thank you to the departments and the committee that um, spent their time, some of them not having sleep or enough sleep to put this together. Now, the Bible says in 1 Corinthians 14, 40, that all things be done decently and in order. We're people of order. We're not just godly people. And um, now this will not go around to everybody. If it doesn't go around to you, be patient. When the next phase comes, I'm sure it will be your turn so that we behave well in the house of God. Part of the things we're learning in the house of God is how to behave like royalty. Hallelujah. Royal people, like the Bible says, we are a people of order. So let me just announce a, a slip has been passed to a few people. Um, as many people have been sampled and sorted around. So all those who have those slips, they are the ones who benefit from this phase of the palliatives. It's already done. It's not something we're about to do. Praise God. So immediately after service, all those who have the slips, please, with, with every sense of order and decency, you find your place to hall two. You don't know where hall two is, one of the overflows down. Please, um, protocol and security, you can do well to direct them. When you get in, you sit down in an orderly manner. Those mandated will communicate, they will address you, and then in a very orderly manner, you have the opportunity to pick whatever it is that they've packaged for you. And um, what happens to one in this house happens to all. Hallelujah. That is the spirit of brotherhood. So what happens to one happens to all. And we thank God for the privilege to be able to do it. Um, may not be able to serve everyone for now, but by God's grace, we hope that as God grants us grace, we'll do it as many times as will be needed to see how we can support our people. We shouldn't have people praying, shouting, and then at least for the sake of the children. We shouldn't have children. Uh, adults can go and eat somewhere else and return back home and refire their faith. <laughs> Hallelujah. But children should not be roaming around from house to house. That is a bad culture for them to learn. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you for the privilege to be able to do this. And we bless the palliatives that our dear people will be receiving after service. This is not for showmanship. This is not for politics. We do this from a standpoint of love. But we do this as a lesson to help believers evolve to become responsible Christians. That beyond praying in tongues and shouting hallelujah, we must be light and be salt indeed. I pray that this will inspire someone to do the same within their neighborhood, inspire someone to do the same as much and as far as your resources can allow. And as you commit to doing that, may the Lord bless you. In Jesus' name, I pray. I believe in practical Christianity. For as long as our Christian experience ends in just praying in tongues and shouting, um, as spiritual as that is, we will only remain a nuisance to our world and to society. We must translate spirituality to a context that affects territory. First spiritually, then help their philosophy and their understanding, and then of course economically. The church is not a poor place. We'll be lying if we say the church is a poor place. Um, we have heavenly resources. We also have economic resources. And from that which God has given, we must do well to support what the government is doing, to support what well-meaning citizens, we are not just Christians, we are citizens of our various nations and we owe it to be sensitive and attentive to the realities of the time. And so this is what we are doing as our contribution to helping alleviate the pain. Um, but more than just collecting palliatives, the real key is to settle down 
and listen. Palliatives can solve a temporal problem, but like Martha, if you settle down and receive the truth of Scripture, are we together? And then open up your heart to receive the engracing that comes with that truth. Someday your receiving palliatives will only be a story to inspire others. You will now, some of you will build bands, but not like the rich fool. The bands will be to bless nations. You believe that? Shout a loud amen. amen. I believe that in a matter of months or a few years, there are people in this place who as a single individual will have the wealth of nations. I truly believe this with all my heart. Not just money without a mission that you can send to mission agencies, take children out of the street, stop women who are crying by the roadside because of irresponsible men who married them and bring order and decadence to society. And also be able to help people who did not have the privilege. Some of them are not bad people. They are, it, they are victims of their philosophies. They were not taught the nobility of a responsible life. Are we together? So the families that they lead, they lead it out of the sometimes the depravity of low-level thinking. So they are not necessarily bad. Their actions may be bad, but their motives are sincere. They just don't know better. This is why the church does not stop as a charity organization. We are primarily, primarily, a spiritual platform that communicates truth that is based on scripture that is intended to number one connect people to jesus then connect people to the principles of the kingdom and release grace from that understanding that empowers them to live heavenly meaningful lives of dominion and dignity that looks like your life shout amen, amen. hallelujah I believe this video you just finished watching have inspired you a lot so that you can live a life of sacrifice for others. I believe your love for others will grow, most especially in time like this, so that you can stretch a hand of love to others by sacrifice or by giving them what you know they need. Thank you so much. I believe that your level of giving we actually increase now. I believe you are a changed person already. I believe that your spiritual life is actually growing and you are making impact. Thank you and see you on our next video. God bless you.